Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. We're set for today's video. The beer's courtesy of Keith from 93 Lumber, spelled out. Thanks a lot, Keith. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll add him in the description box below. Uh, make sure you check out Keith and his YouTube channel. He's awesome. Great beer tuber, even better guy, as I'm a fan of saying. So this is a collaboration with Oak Flower Brewing Company and Twin Elephant, uh, Karlov Bridge, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. 4.9% Czech Dark Lager. Uh, I'm doing this for a Tuesday Test My Palate video. It's a style I like, I don't drink a ton of. Um, I recently had a smoked Czech style dark lager, or was it even Czech, or just dark lager maybe that they said. But anyway, um, so yeah, definitely a style I like. I just, I don't have it a ton. So yeah, I'm super stoked to get into it. Really fun, I don't know, it's like simplistic, but fun can art, I like that. And uh, great ABV. Brown with a little bit of copper mixed in. Doesn't quite go red to, well, at the very bottom it does. Um, almost reminds me of maybe like a cream soda kind of a color. Uh, almost exactly two fingers of head. Slightly light mocha, relatively compact bubbles. I mean, it, it definitely looks like I thought it would, like this like caramel brown kind of color. Um, maybe cream soda cut with a little bit of root beer. Anyway, if you're watching, and you might be listening, but if you're watching, it looks like what you're seeing probably, I don't know, with the lighting. Let's get into the aroma. Like a slightly roasty caramel kind of thing. It's not barrel aged wood, but a little woodsy. It's earthy that way for me. A little nutty. This is a good example of it doesn't smell like caramel, but it does have some caramelized sugar notes. I've been getting both of those notes in some beers recently. Sometimes I get one or the other. This is definitely a one or the other sort of situation. This smells awesome. There's one more thing. It's like um, like brown bread. That's what it is. But anyway, it smells awesome. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Keith. Hope you're doing well. Big flavor. Big flavor. Beers like this are good for me to, to have every once in a while. Sub 5% and you're getting a big flavor. You know, and sometimes, at least I feel like, and sometimes it is true, you got to go, you know, bigger ABV, bigger style to get bigger flavors, right? And this, are there bigger flavors? Yeah, but this isn't what the point of this video is, which beer has the biggest flavors. But man, like, if you're kind of like doing the ratio of ABV, ABV to flavor intensity, this one really holds its own, you know? Like, like I've had beers that are three times the ABV of this that are not three times as impactful, okay? So am I harping on that point? Maybe, but I'm just really trying to give this beer its props. It's a very flavorful beer. Follows the aroma pretty well for me. Uh, a little bit of this non-barrel aged woodsy earthiness, uh, slight nuttiness, those caramelized sugar notes, but not quite being caramel for me. Um, the brown bread, it's a little rye in the aftertaste pretty close to like if I ate a piece of rye toast plain um, and then a couple other things going on so it's not a hundred percent that but it's it's pretty spot on yeah slight roastiness nowhere near smoky though but a little bit of a nice roasty quality that brown bread in the most faint molasses that you could have that you still perceive it, you know? Man, this is a nice beer. Yeah, that roastiness is killer. That's really good. You can see why like a smoked version of this style works really well. Yeah, this is killer. This is awesome, dude. Yeah, thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. You guys have been before? Have you had this style recently? Thoughts on like, how about that? Like some low ABV beers you can think of that have huge flavor. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check out Keith's channel again. And once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.